on my phone and just cringe till here. Today, we'll be reacting to things that happened while I grew up by Jaden Animations. That just came out. I have no idea. So, I hope you enjoy the original videos in the link description. Make sure to go subscribe to Jaden Animations if you haven't already. With well, that being said, let's begin. When I was living on my own for the first time, I had to go to the store and get milk and paper towels. And that was the first time I was like, wow. I am such a freaking adult. I really appreciate the childhood my parents were able to give me. I'm really privileged to have grown up in a functional house where my parents didn't want me to die. No. I made a parent stories video a little over a year ago and I rewatched it to make sure I didn't repeat any topics. And all I'm gonna say is those stories and animation are not worth 10 million views. <laughs> that video I don't, I don't like it. I don't like that video. My parents were really, really big on manners and being polite. We've got some Asian blood in us, so we can't bring dishonor to our family. <laughs> bring dishonor to our family. That's how Jackie Chu says it in SML. <laughs> uh, but my parents are kind of the same way. Like, like they don't want us to be like, you know, you know, like they want to say yes, sir, yes, ma'am. That that's what they want us to say. We do all the typical things like call adults Mr. and Mrs., ask to be excused yeah. from dinner, make sure to thank everyone to. for everything ever, no. bow to our superiors. I, when my mom had new people come over to the house, she would make me- I don't- I say thank you, but I don't like, excuse me, say excuse me for the dinner table. I don't do that at all. Sorry if- I, sorry if I'm talking a lot. Introduce myself and shake their hand, and then when no one was looking, she'd pull me aside to a different room and quiz me. What color are their eyes? That was my mom's training course to get me to be good at eye contact because I guess I used to be stupid and not look at people when they talked. But I remember that kind of backfired because I'd be so focused on memorizing their eyes that I wouldn't pay attention to what they were saying. Hi Jaden, how are you? Natch. That's weird. Have your mom uh, grade you and how, like, what the color of their eyes? That's weird. All right, loser, I've got a quiz to take. Now that I've got 20 years of aced eye quizzes under my belt, I'm an eye contact wizard. I graduated top of my class in eye contact. I've got eye contact master's degrees. Well, every once in a while, some people make me nervous and I get shy. But other than that, I'm an eye contact powerhouse. I realized more recently that I think sometimes I go overboard and just end up staring at people by accident. And it's very weird. And I'm sorry at everyone. My mom would also be really strict on me saying pardon all the time instead of of what? Like, she would say something I didn't hear, and I'd go, what? And she'd stick her head around with, pardon? I wouldn't be a bimbo and be all, what? Who says that? Pardon? I mean, I say yes to my mom or dad. I say yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. But no one uses pardon. Or to my brothers, I say what? Or, but, what? What? No one, pardon, like, Pardon's different. What the heck? Who uses pardon? It's not like I was being a rude moron. One time my friend told me, Jaden, I think you're the only person I know that says pardon. And like, that's all fine and dandy. I could respect my mom's request to use an underused polite word. But I can't. Because she's even worse. This is what she does. Mom, did you put my book somewhere? Huh? Objectively speaking, oh, what? is exponentially better than a huh? I started mocking her whenever she did it and then she gradually stopped bothering me about saying pardon. Also, I realized I never told you that I had a lisp as a kid. My parents meme on me about it all the time and a running joke in the family came from when I used to be babysat by my mom's friend who's Italian, which means she'd talk like this. I love spaghetti. I love Italian food. I like pizza and spaghetti. Those are my favorite. I, I love pizza. Even though I'm Hispanic, I love Italian food. Hello? What happened? What happened? What happened? In, which go. means she took it like it is. What the heck happened? What the frick? Alright guys, I'll just cut the video and, and try to figure out what the ha heck happened. Alright guys, I'm back and I fixed it, so... ...by my mom's friend, who's Italian, which means she'd talk like it is and have her house full of a spaghetti and oh mamma mia! I like how you use that I'm meme. I'm only half joking. 
I, oh, I saw papyrus. What the heck? <laughs> She's very Italian. Yahoo! She would make pasta for me all the time, and whenever she would ask what I wanted for lunch, I would pathetically go, Pasta with no sauce! <laughs> I wanted pasta with no sauce. And now, if my family would be having pasta for dinner, someone would end up going, I don't have a lisp anymore. <laughs> Sometimes it shines through when I talk too fast or get sloppy with my words, but somehow I fixed it by myself. In first grade, we were learning about letter pronunciation, and when we got to S, the teacher explained that some kids say S with their tongue, when it's actually supposed to be behind your teeth. And I was like, oh. So I stopped doing it. Cured. Who knew that if you've got a speech impediment or some sort of hindrance or obstruction in your life, just stop it. Simple. <laughs> you've got cancer. <gasps> no, it's okay. Just stop it. When I was learning how to swim, my mom and her friend, who also had a daughter my age, hired a swim instructor for us. And I don't remember a single thing about it, except that she made us hang off the edge of the pool and just shimmy across the side. But I was terrified of these filters against the side and always refused to go across them because I was scared of being sucked in or something. I don't know how I passed that class because I refused to do the exercise. Uh, but at least I knew her eyes were blue. And then at the end of each <laughs> lesson, she'd give us a piece of licorice, like we were dogs. I didn't like licorice. <laughs> oh yeah! And also this one time, I almost drowned and died. So my parents were having a bu- Way to train- change the transition. To you liking licorice, to... You almost drowning. A bunch of their friends over who also had kids for a pool party. There were a handful of pool toys like blow up dolphins and beach balls, but we also had this floating foam mat. I was doofing off doing my own thing, and at one point when I was underwater, the mat drifted over top of me. When I had to go up for air, I hit the bottom of the mat, and I was like, uh oh. Time for advanced critical problem solving. <laughs> so if this mat is over top of me, I can't get up to the surface to breathe. So what do I do? I got it. I'll simply become a child Hercules and lift three six-year-olds from underwater into the air with my twig arms. <laughs> Rather than using one of my four brain cells and- And you didn't not move out the side, really? <laughs> Why? Why? Swimming two feet to the side, away from the mat, I decided to try and just bench press my way to survival. One of the adults realized I was being an idiot and also dying, and instead of being like, well, survival of the fittest, he <laughs> dove in and saved me. So I didn't end up drowning of stupidity. Thank you, Mr. Chad. And now I'm here, on my own, moved to California, in my own place, not dead at the bottom of a pool, staring at everyone. Being honest, I love my family so much, and they've done so much for me. It takes a lot of effort to raise a person. Just think about how helpless and stupid babies are when they start out. They can't do anything. You I still live with my mom and dad. I'm like 14 years old. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can just put a baby on the ground and do nothing. Just leave it alone. And it'll just... Pathetic. I'm so thankful and lucky my family's so supportive about everything I've been able to do because I know not a lot of parents are like that. They even helped me sell merch at VidCon. They were so happy about it too. They came up to me after every day like, Oh my gosh, Jaden, everyone's so wonderful. The people who watch your videos are so sweet. Someone asked me to sign their shirt, so I just wrote Jaden's mom. I was really nervous to pursue this career path because it can be a bit unpredictable. But the fact that they're so proud and encouraging has helped me do so much more than I ever... Don't be like Super Mario Logan. It got monetized. It got demonetized, but the channel's back. But yeah, yeah. Never would have thought I could if I was alone. So thanks, mom and dad. Brown Hazel. So I just got back from <laughs> Vietnam, Australia, and I wanted to say that 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 was awesome. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. This is really funny and yeah guys, so leave a like, comment down what video you want me to react next, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you ninjas later. Peace out guys, what did I just do?